Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me today. Today we're going to attempt to clean some silver. Now, I've seen this done many times on the internet. I've never done it myself because I've basically owned very little silver. But I've managed to get a few pieces together. Um, and I want to try this. When your silver goes black, it's got a black tarnish on it. Um, which happens with pretty much all silver coins which come out of the ground. This is the best way to get the black tarnish off, okay? What you're going to need is a bowl, some tin foil, salt and baking soda. Uh, sodium bicarbonate is another name for it. I tend to buy it in bulk, um, saves a lot of money. I've had that for over a year and it's half gone. I've done pretty well with that for about £7, $10 or something. So, I've got four coins I'm going to try. We have got a United States half dollar. We've got a one dime. We have got an English sixpence and a 50 Fennec German one from 1877. So, come down here, let's give this a go. Okay, so we get us bowl. Inside the bowl we put some water. Hot water. I've gone for boiling water and I'll tell you why. Because I keep saying this, if you're putting chemicals inside you want very hot water to uh, to dissolve in it. So you add some baking soda not entirely sure how much, but that will certainly do. And you add some salt. I've got table salt. Coarse sea salt, sorry. So we add that. Give it a little stir. And that is what is going to cause some kind of chemical reaction It's fizzing nicely. I would say that's ready. That's going to cause some kind of reaction to the uh, tin foil. Put the tin foil in there. I'm just going to put a bit more bicarbonate on top of there, just in case there's none on top. Now let's start the experiment. We will start with a Walking Liberty 1943 half dollar, which is 90% silver. Okay, I've got pictures of before, which I'll I'll add at the end of this video. Come on, focus, my son. There you are. You can see how black it is. So let's put this in and see what happens. So far, I wouldn't say I'm impressed. Now it is important that the metal is in contact with the cling film. So it might be that I had some, some salt or some of the uh, bicarbonate in between there and it will just stop in it a bit. So make sure it's in contact with the actual metal. Okay, well I'm not convinced that that has worked, unless that is just muck and not tarnish. But we'll do a before and after. Uh, I'll put the pictures up in a minute when I've done the other coins and we'll compare. It does look shinier, I'll give it that, but it's not got all the black out of the middle, has it? Now we're going to try a 1912 Barber Dime. I always thought it was Barbara Dime, but it's Barber Dime. I've only just found out looking it up. Um, you can see it's very black on that side. Let's see what effect this has. Again, this is 90% silver. You 
can see it bubbling away there, so it's clearly doing something. Okay, so there's your barber dime. Barber dime again. Still looks black to me. Doesn't seem to have done a good job. Now thinking about it, the person who sent me these, he might have already tried it. He might have already done this method with them or cleaned them in some way. Um, but I'm not too impressed with them. I'll be honest with you. But I'll look at them in the before and after. They might be better than I thought. Thirdly, let's move on to the English uh, George V half silver coin. 50% silver from 1935. Quite tarnished. We'll see if that uh, does anything. the George V silver. I'm not impressed so far guys. I'm really not. So here is the last coin. 50 Pfennig from 1877. A German coin which I believe from looking it up it's worth over a hundred dollars. Or it could be but depending on the condition and what mint mark I suppose. But that is very badly tarnished, so I'm really hoping this comes up well. Okay, so I've given that extra long, and that's the result. Not very good, but maybe a bit better. I'm not sure till I compare the pictures. Okay, that was my little experiment. Didn't go as well as I'd hoped, um, but let's run through the before and after pictures and see if there's any difference. Firstly, the half dollar. Now, I can't see much difference on that, to be honest with you. It's a little bit better, but not perfect. The one dime, again, on the head side it seems quite a lot cleaner. Um, on the one dime side, it doesn't. Maybe a little bit. The best result is the sixpence. That one looks remarkably cleaner, especially on the king's head side, the George V side. And the last one, 50 Fennig, mm, not much difference really. And it seems on the back of it, it's cleaned one part more than the other side. So, not too happy about that. So that's my experiment with these four silver coins. As I say, I've seen this done on the internet and fantastic results. So the big question has to be, what am I doing wrong? So please leave your comments. Try this yourself, please do, because it does work if you do it right. I've clearly got something wrong. Um, what have I got wrong? Have I, is it because I used coarse sea salt and not table salt? Was the water too hot? It was nearly boiling. Um, had these already been cleaned before? Why did it work better on 50% silver than 90% silver? All interesting questions which I want answers to. I'm not coming on here pretending I'm an expert, because I'm not. Um, I've never done this before, but I do know it works. I've seen it done on the internet many times. So try it yourselves, let me know, and leave all your comments below, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you very soon. I'm hoping to get out metal detecting tomorrow, because it's been terrible weather all week. But it's getting warmer, and it's meant to be quite nice tomorrow. So fingers crossed I'll be out there. See you all very soon, probably Sunday night. You take care. Goodbye. <laughs>